In our ever-growing family of SDS products, you can really see that Sigmatic stands for High Performance Control Systems. Uh, we now offer CPUs in our SDS system uh, bo based both on ARM and x86 technologies with single as well as dual core processor units. We've also recently expanded the CPU series with a EtherCAD drive controller, meaning that it is now possible to uh, control EtherCAD drives using the CP733 or the CP313. Uh, mechanically, the system is well known and well loved and very stably designed to be operated with as minimal tooling as necessary. The stability in the system is greatly th uh, thanks to its interlocking mechanism. The cards basically interlock to each other by connecting with these four brackets on the corners. So if I push them together and I press down on the mechanical lock, they are really robustly connected together. They can then simply be slipped onto a DIN rail and pressed down to attach them and they have an earthing pin at the back as well. You can really see the amount of cards that have been developed for the SDS system up to this point. I mean, all of the cards on this board are unique. Um, some really interesting ones are, for example, the AI-046. Um, this card takes in an analog signal, plus minus 1.1 or 11 volts, um, samples it at 100 kilohertz and transfers this information to the CPU. That sampling is done at 18 bits resolution, by the way, which is really impressive. Another interesting card is, for example, the DC-061 or 062. These two sort of go together. That is a fully integrated servo drive in this form factor, in 12.5 millimeters of width. At a uh, continuous current of 6 amps, this card provides just shy of 300 watts of power. Fully integrated servo with uh, feedback incorporated as well as safety, of course. Um, speaking of safety, these yellow cards down here are part of our safety system. Now, the safety system in the SDS range is designed to be a standalone system, but to incorporate with the rest of the SDS products just as well. That means that you can take one of these safe CPUs and freely program it uh, to have a standalone application, or you can take these cards and attach them in a standard SDS range like up here. When you do so, the uh, safety functionalities and IOs are accessible from the standard application just as if there were no separation between the two systems. So you have the free, uh, free programmability in the safety system as well as of course in the standard CPU um, and it is as if there is no separation.